the front hand, follow, follow. This move, can you see? After this here, now you are ready to go. It only has one move. You went like this. You have two moves. This one is only like this. So same as if I don't watch my hand, it only does this. But while doing this here, my feet kept going. So you are doing this, it did not work. Now you did this, it did not work. You did this, it did not work. This is the problem. So watch. You do this, it did not work. Then you do another one, another one, another one. Can you see the top never matches the bottom? The top is continuous. The bottom keeps changing. On the shuttle here, imagine there is a wall here. There is a wall here. So in the air, your hands must touch both walls. You must have this here. Do you understand that? And uh, that's a stretch in the air, or you could say in motion. The problem is when we, our moves are stationary, and yet it's already difficult for you to do the split. And you see here, I'll use the same example again. So you watch again. My front hand is one and a half inches from the wall. So this is the stretch. But when we did that, we are not doing it here. This here is also one and a half inches away from the wall. The wall is here. So we have to have this. Can you understand that? Every move has to have this stretch. Number one, we always forget stretch is two ways. Number two, we always not stretch, we rotate, which means we went like this. Can you see? We did not stretch. We did not become bigger. We just went sideways. So the move is the torso can never go like this. The problem is when we make a move, can you see the torso likes to move with it? The torso has to stay there, but the movement of the torso has to come from the feet. So in this particular move here, can you see? It only does this and then does this. But these two moves will cause the torso to move just like the box of your car. The two legs are like your wheels on the car. The car itself, the car, the, car, the box car where you sit does not move, it gets shifted. It does not have a movement of itself. This is very, very important. Once you understand it, your body will totally go through a transformation, it will behave differently. Same as your arm here. This is very difficult to understand because it's very internal. The arm never moves. It's the joint that moves. And so to speak, if you put something on here, it, because your arm does not move, if you put, my arm is round, if it's flat, you put a cup of coffee on it, it won't move because only the joint moves. Our problem is the arm moves. So the torso, same thing. So the torso is only allowed to do this. And this has to be done while the legs are moving the, the torso. So from here, can you see, as that happens, the legs are doing it, and then the torso only does this. So can you see? Here. Then you can combine it. It looks like it's doing this, but it does not. Way here and now face this here. So as you step, your body is here. And now you continue with your arms until this arm actually is going this way. This arm is going that way. Can you see? That's this here. But the body stays here. So don't go like this. Don't turn this way. Stays here and the torque like this here. And as you release this here, this one does the positive circle. And this one, there's the negative circle. You end up here. So now, from this here, can you see your head is still here? And now you do this. And here. Your head is here. And then when you turn, can you see? Your head stays there. Your head cannot follow your hand. 
So this move here, the, the single whip diagonally, your head stays here, stays here. Your body goes that way. Can you see your body is going that way? Then in the end, look here.